In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove all the dust from your Xbox One S from start to finish, and then also include putting it back together. Please only use this guide if you feel comfortable and confident enough to do so. There are many different ways to do this, but this is my preferred method. Let's get right into it. First, you'll want to eject any discs that you have in the Xbox itself. Then you're gonna to wanna to hold down the power button until the console fully turns off. Once you've done that, navigate to the back of the console and remove the power lead and the HDMI display lead. The first and most important tool you'll need in your kit is a screwdriver. Specifically, you'll need a Torx 10 screw bit and it looks like this. If you don't have this, I'll leave an Amazon link below with all the tools that you see on the screen. Next up, we have our trusty prying tool, which is used to take the case apart. This is our cleaning device. Next up, we have a microfiber cloth. And finally, a good old trusty can of air. If you can get the can of air that comes with the long nozzle, that would be preferred. Now that we have all of our tools, links will be in the description. Let's get started. Take your Xbox One S and navigate to the back of the console. Here on your console, you'll probably find a warranty sticker. I must warn you that supposedly if you remove your warranty sticker, it then becomes void for warranty. So please bear that in mind. If you're happy to carry on, remove the sticker. Next, take your prying tool and slowly lift this area above where the sticker was. This can be a little bit tricky, so a little bit of patience is needed and not too much force. You'll hear a loud click when it's free. Rinse and repeat along the same side of the Xbox. This is just to ensure that there's no clips attached. Now we're going to move on to the other side of the Xbox and use a push away method rather than an up and over. I'm yet to damage the plastic on an Xbox by doing it this way. You're going to want to follow this process all the way around the Xbox. When you're done, the bottom part of the Xbox chassis should just fall off. So be prepared to catch it if you're doing it standing up. Just for reference, this is the front of the Xbox and this is the back. Now using the T10 screwdriver, you're going to remove all of the green screws that you see on the console. Again, just to reiterate, this is the way that I personally take apart an Xbox One S to clean it. There is more than one way to skin a cat and it's whatever you feel most comfortable doing. I started repairing consoles as a hobby back in February 2020. I've documented my whole journey on YouTube on this channel. I'll leave a card in the top right hand corner if you're interested to see what I'm repairing currently. I'd recommend doing this next bit with the console flat on the table. I'm only standing it up to show you guys how to do it. Pull gently on the back sides of the Xbox, then pull the back down and away. Once you've done that, then remove the chassis from the outer plastic. This is where I'd recommend the first bit of cleaning for your Xbox One S. Take your toothbrush and gather any loose dust that might be around the fan area and the side vents of the console. Now take your can of air and give it a good dusting. Then take your cloth and get rid of any loose dust. Where you have the mesh side of the fan, you should be able to lift this casing off fairly easily. You'll then see all of the parts that make an Xbox One S. Whilst you're here, give the metal casing a quick clean. You've got the hard drive, the disk drive, the power supply unit, and the fan. Just for reference, this is a basic clean. We're not gonna be taking out any components. Firstly, you're gonna take your toothbrush and try and get off any dust that might be stuck. Make sure you do this quite gently. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your finger and place it on the blade of the fan. This will stop the fan from spinning when you're trying to give it a clean with the toothbrush. Again, just be very careful, but try and get off as much dirt from the fan as possible. There will be a lot of loose dirt that falls through those cracks, but we're gonna sort that out with the can of air afterwards. Take your can of air and give everything a good clean. Try and angle the can of air so that you're removing the dust away from the Xbox One S. If you have a nozzle for your can of air, try and use that to get the dust out of the heat sink itself. And finally, just give it a little bit of a wipe down with a cloth. Make sure the cloth is dry and also be quite careful. 
I like to use a corner of the cloth to go around the fan blades just to pick up any extra loose dust. Just like that, you've cleaned your Xbox One S. Now let's put it back together. Take the silver cover and align the mesh with the fan. Take your prying tool and get this little spongy bit out of the way and put the casing on the rest of the case. You'll know when it's secure because you'll have a little plastic bit pop through this hole. The best way to put this next part back in is by again lining the fan up with the holes on the outer case. That's how I always remember which way to put it in. There are buttons at the front of this, so just be careful not to force it. You don't necessarily get a click or anything when you put this in correctly, so just be careful. The back side of the console will then click onto both of the sides on the chassis. I'm going to leave this bit rolling for a little bit so you can see how this works. This also doesn't take a lot of pressure, so don't be forceful, but eventually it will click into place. One of those things where practice makes perfect on this for sure. The way to know that if it's incorrectly is by just tilting the Xbox on the side and making sure that it's kind of flat with the casing and make sure there's no gap on the line at the bottom at the back. Another good way to check is to make sure that the Xbox button at the front is clicking because then it's making contact with the button contact. Now you can put those green screws back. Where it states F and a number is where they need to go. But also feel free to pause the video to have a look. I'm using this angle just to explain it better to you guys. I find it a lot easier to put the bottom of the Xbox back on from where I took it off to start with. From there, gently push the case down until you hear all of the clicks. Your best bet is to go around the Xbox and just make sure that everything is in place. Lastly, a nice clean with a cloth on the outer case and you're all done. This method will more than likely prevent any overheating issues from happening in the future and will most definitely prolong the life of your Xbox One S. If you're interested in watching my journey becoming a competent console repair technician, feel free to stick around for the next video. Also, please like the video if you did enjoy it and share it to anybody who you think their Xbox is a little dirty. There is another video on my channel which is how to clean an original Xbox One. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. If you're wondering what it's like to repair broken consoles then feel free to check out some more videos on my channel. At the moment I'm trying to get a little bit better with Xbox One S's, original Xboxes, Nintendo Switches and I'm just about to do my first ever PS4. I started by replacing the screens on Nintendo DS Lights, which you could pick up cheap on eBay for like £10. With the help of the YouTube tech repair community, I feel like I'm getting better every single day. Make sure to leave in the comment section down below whether this guide worked for you or not. And even if this video did work for you, was there anything that I could have shown a little bit better? Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.